Why is it always too much with you, gods? Hi, and welcome in Things That You Might Not Know About. Before we go further, let's make things clear. First of all, it's mythology, so some things might differ depending on the source. And second of all, everything would have been much easier if Zeus knew how to control his dictaphone. Let's start by one that I really like, Medusa. So Medusa was the only one of the three Gorgon sisters to be mortal. She was also known to be very, very beautiful. What's happening when you're very, very beautiful in the Greek mythology? Yes? Yes, Jean-Claude? Yes, Jean-Eude? Yeah? Yeah? You're right, you get raped. Exactly. <sighs> Unfortunately for Medusa, her beauty caught the eyes of Poseidon, who desired her so bad that he has decided to rape her in Athena's shrine. Mm, Greek mythology. And of course, Athena wasn't happy at all, so she decided to punish her. Me? But, huh, interesting. Someone is getting raped, and this is this one who is being blamed. It could have been written yesterday. So back to Athena. For revenge, she decided to transform Medusa's hair into snakes, so that anyone who gazed at her directly will be turned into stone. What is that sound? Later, Polydectus will send Perseus on a quest to bring him the head of Medusa. Perseus, son of Zeus, like half of the planet, was aided by the gods. He received the cape of invisibility. He received the cape of in the, in the, in the <laughs> He received the cape of uh, invisibility. That's not that hard, Okan. He received the cape of invisibility from Aedes. Winged sandals from Hermes. A sword from Hephaestus and the reflective shield from, wait for it, Athena. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't enough to curse her. She has to give weapon to kill her now. What a lovely woman. So Perseus, a very brave man, will wait until Metisa is sleeping and will decapitate her. Very brave, very brave. And from the beheaded neck, Pegasus was born. Don't ask any question. I never said it makes sense. Okay, so until the end, no respect at all. Okay. Did I mention that Zeus wasn't very in control with himself? Well, now I do. And you want to know who was even less in control? Hera. His wife. To send a hero with. This woman was absolutely insane. If you were lucky enough to please physically Zeus, you were in trouble. And even though you were saying no, because <laughs> Zeus was not taking no as an answer. Once again, a big parallel with what women can live now. Incredible. So even if you were saying no, or you were just living your life and you were like not even knowing that it was looking at you or knowing that he was the tree or he was the cow that you were touching, he was doing weird stuff, okay? No. Or even if you were being raped, Hera 
didn't give a sh ship. Didn't give a ship. To, to the little. Which bring us to Zeus' first mistress, Leto. And be aware that when he was with Leto, he wasn't with Hera at the time. So Leto, Titan goddess, beautiful. Zeus had been the pants. Zeus impregnated Leto with twins. Zeus ran away and married his sister, Hera. Good, we're okay, we can go. Remember Hera, ship. And this is where it begins. Hera will first kick out Leto from Olympus. And when it was the time for her to give birth, Hera the balloon banned her from giving birth on Terra Firma, sent emissaries to all the cities to forbid everybody to give her shelter, food or water. So Leto was then forced to keep wandering around the land and around the world with no chance to stop somewhere to give birth. After years of crisscrossing around the world while in labor, Leto came across an island not connected to the ocean's floor, and so did not count as real island by Hera's definition. It's dark outside. Baby, it's cold outside. The evening. Something, something, something. Baby, it's cold outside. And there she will finally be able to give birth to Artemis and Apollo. But Era, never satisfied. I never been satisfied, maybe that is why. I sent a dragon to chase her and a newborn's child. That's going era, he was right, you were never been satisfied. Epa, Epapolo? Apollo, eventually, slew the dragon. Is it over yet? No! Of course not, it's never over with this woman. It was a nasty place. It was a mess wherever we step. Hera sent the gigantic titan, Titeus, to rape Leto. Fortunately for her, Artemis and Apollo will get rid of him before anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Finally, Leto become goddess of motherhood with a lot of good things, including protection of the good. Eh, eh, eh. Why doesn't she give birth to a horse? Because she has been in labors for years. Isn't that enough? Yeah, uh, yeah, fair enough. Hera must have been busy with someone else at the time. She got lucky. Let's talk a little bit about Prometheus. He was instructed by Zeus to create all animals on Earth, including men and women. Like men in general, like human. Very generous, he gave to the animals many skills, like flying, swimming, agility, etc, etc. But when the creation of men arrived, there were almost no skill left, which explained that the only ability I have is to do that. That's already pretty good. But that's not... <laughs> but that's not the point. So he shaped human with clay, and while working on his creation, he grew fond of it and got an idea. He wanted to make them intelligent being, being able to do more than animals. Didn't work for everybody, but that's not the point either. So he got the idea and stole the fire of Ephesus. Of course, Zeus, mad as hell, punished him. He made Ephesus chained Prometheus on Mount Caucasus, where the eagle will eat his liver forever. Liver that regenerates itself pretty fast. Yes, liver party. <laughs> Much later, Hercules, who was passing by, killed the eagle and freed Prometheus. And freed Hephaestus. No, not at all, Prometheus. But I'll do a full video about Hercules, because trust me, he deserves. In conclusion, I'd say you should rather die than being 
loved by God. Here I is watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, like, subscribe, the bell, share, and that's all. And don't forget, happiness is right under your nose. So smile. The bright man are singing, I can't control my joy Cause I finally found the boy I've been missing Listen, I can hear the bells He can hear the bells He can hear the bells He can hear the bells Somebody once told me The world is going crazy I have the sharpest tool in the shed To be stuck in the moment of breathless delight Have you been there to not even all so hard to know? Me <laughs> I hope you will not hear that.